All right, guys, Good Old Boy 32 here, check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom living room because, well, simply put, the uh, Freedom backyard is being swamped by this thing called a hurricane. But I wanted to do this video here real quickly talking about tripods. Now, uh, if you've watched any of the videos of us shooting at the uh, Sniper's Unknown or have you ever seen these PRS matches, you may notice that uh, a lot of these guys are using tripods. And I absolutely love using tripods. And I mean, uh, you can use them from a standing position, sitting position. I like using it from a sitting position. And a tripod is a great resource for a second point of contact or rear uh, contact if you're using your front hand guard on a rail or something else like that. So what we wanted to do is just real quickly, I wanted to talk to you about some of the, the attributes on these different tripods. And then what I'm going to do down the road is we'll do reviews on these individual tripods. Now, I do have another tripod that has the uh, the grip or the hog saddle on it, and I'll do a review on that. But these specific tripods are brought to us by a company called Innorel. Now, I believe I purchased this one as long as this head and this guy right here. This is the RT90. Uh, this thing is really nice. This is a cost about, oh, I would say $317 on Amazon. By the way, there's going to be links down below for all this stuff. Uh, but I did put the really right stuff clamp on it. Uh, this guy right here, this is the RT80 and it has a uh, 44 or this is the 52 millimeter uh, ball head, turret head on it, yep. And this is really nice. As you can see, it's got the MPA on it and you can swivel this thing around, you can move it around. It does have a friction screw on it right here. I can lock it into place. Uh, this particular by tripod is the RT75. Both of these are capable of holding up to uh, 44 pounds, but this beast right here, this thing right here can hold up to 88 pounds. Um, one of the things that I have found with using lighter uh, style tripods, it does have a tendency that you can get some movement or some swivel in the legs, both on these guys right here, but on the RT90 along with the bowl, <laughs> This thing is bad to the bone. This particular one, it does come with the uh, a bowl down here, which if you probably wanted something a little bit more stable, I would just go ahead and use the bowl and eliminate the ball head right here. But I'm trying to use some different attributes. Now, uh, in our competition, we uh, use this guy right here. This is the BDX 3000. And I do have a QD mount right here on this guy. And again, this MPA is not a light rifle, but what I can do is with the different mounts, I can bring this thing in here like this and lock this guy on and we can use the BDX 3000. Also, this little swivel head right here, we'll do a, a review on that QD mount real quickly uh, in another video. But um, all these tripods are 10 layered uh, carbon fiber. And I will tell you this, uh, a lot of people have asked me and I've, at the range, they're looking at the differences between, and this will extend all the way up another whole section right here. And I can mount this guy all the way up here. We can use this ball turret. I can loosen this thing up. It'll do whatever I want. This is a really good little deal here. But anyway, I digress. A lot of people have asked me if I would go with the RT80 versus the RT90. And I got to be honest with you, uh, this weighs about four pounds, this weighs six pounds. You're gaining a lot more st stability in this particular tripod uh, than you are in gaining anything from a weight attribute in here. Now, if weight is something that means the world to you, then, well, yeah, I would suggest going ahead and maybe looking at this. Um, from that standpoint, though, I would go ahead and go with the RT75 just because it does come with this, uh, what is this, the 42 millimeter ball head on here. It comes like this. Uh, yeah, this is a 44 millimeter head. And this thing uh, retails, this is $179 with the ball head. And it really is sta a stable, pretty stable platform. You're still gonna have some movement there, but as long as you are stable up here and you're shooting freehand, boom, you're in good shape. But again, it's completely up to you. Um, 
they're both great tripods. This guy right here, the uh, 55 or 52 millimeter ball by itself was $89 and a tripod was 165. Uh, this whole setup with the R RTS, or really right stuff, RRS, uh, this is about $165 for the clamp and $317. So you're almost $400, uh, 400, about $450 into it with the setup you see here. But, but the difference is, is it is a, it's bigger and it's a tremendously more stable platform. When this is locked down, I can hang probably 30, 40 pounds off of this rifle right here. I hope you guys are able to see all this stuff with the lighting I've got is horrible. Anyway, uh, just a real quick video on tripods. Uh, we've got the Kafiagr tripod that was sent to us by the guys over there at Sightmark and it's got the Reaper gripper grip on it. And that's another way of doing things uh, when you don't have an Arca rail, or Arca Swiss rail. And uh, we also have uh, another tripod that I can't wait to show you uh, from a, a veteran made a veteran owned company and uh basically it's kind of like a table mounted tripod anyway guys that's it these this is a, a good collection of tripods we've got we'll be using them out in the field another good thing is that you know if you wanted to go into a sitting position and we'll do a review of these individually especially this guy right here this is the rt75 but you can bring this thing, it collapses down into like a 22 inch platform. They all pretty much do collapse into like a 22 inches altogether. Uh, but the nice thing is, is you can bring these things out and you can put them at different heights. I don't know if I can figure out how to do it. And you can use this guy right here and you can bring it up in the center mass post right here. If you're running a camera, let me show you. Here is a 5D Mark II, and you can run a camera. You can also hang it upside down. And then, if you wanted to, um, this comes out, this leg right here actually comes off, and you can mount this uh, turret head on here just like a monopod, pretty cool. Uh, a lot of cool things. But anyway, there's links down below. Uh, these, just beware, I'm gonna put a link uh, from Interrail themselves, it's their store. They will be running specials for uh, Black Friday. So be looking on the lookout for those. Uh, but I will tell you this right now, um, if I had to choose between all of them, because you can lay this thing out and you can sit behind it, this bowl gives me the ability to lock it in and I can shoot just like this, move in the corner, lock it, bring it on target, boom, and you're good to go. All right, with that being said, guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, Inner rail, they make some good stuff, carbon fiber. And uh, with that being said, God bless America, God bless his men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Let's go boy 32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good, a lot of fun.